Line snapping is an all too common issue we see in auto-generated text systems. This occurs when text is generated and becomes too large to fit on one line, so it wraps to the next line with a snapping appearance. It's unattractive and very unprofessional looking. Instead, smart wrapping will take the entire text to be generated and wrap it from the start, so as each character becomes visible, it's already in its proper position. This will be done using TM Pro's Max Visible Characters feature. Now, I must say, as of recently, TM Pro is the new standard text system for Unity, which is a huge help. But you know what that means. It's only a matter of time before the default text system becomes obsolete. So, rather than leave open a point of failure on our VN through the text architect, in anticipation of default text eventual removal, I've recomposed the script to both safeguard itself from obsolete components, as well as remedy our line snapping dilemma. Now, when a change like this happens, I don't expect anyone to code along, so the updated architect will be available for download in the description. The new architect is simpler, and it uses most of the same variables here, although some have been removed because they're no longer needed. The initialization uses less parameters, but it does require a reference to a TM Pro object, which is absolutely mandatory given how this works. This reference is needed in any architect for the accurate generation of characters on the text object itself. Our construction sequence is much simpler and smaller as you can see. All we do here is assign the target text to the reference text object, then reveal each character one or more at a time based on our speed variables and additive or override requirements. Now because of that, consequently upon introducing this change to Unity, it'll throw off a few classes that use the architect. Our dialog system for one needs to reference the speech text when creating its architect. and current text is no longer a variable in the architect since the entire string is assigned at once. Simply remove those lines and the text will automatically appear during the construction sequence. The only other script that uses an architect is my architect tester script, which I'll wind up deleting eventually, but until then, I need to correct it and pass in the TM Pro text to both calls. The reason it works this way is because since we have a reference directly to the text object, we're setting the text immediately as we're constructing it in the sequence. It's assigned automatically to the object, and then each character is revealed one at a time. So that's why we have to reference the TM Pro object. And as I said, text is displayed automatically in the construction, so we no longer have to manually update with the current text. Added to the text architect is a global cache that keeps track of all architects and the text objects they're influencing. If we initiate two or more architects to manage the same text object, then the text would flash back and forth between each architect's individual progress and target text. So instead, as each architect is created, it initializes itself into that cache and ensures that it's the only architect influencing that particular text mesh pro object. And to end an architect, simply reference it and call its terminate function. This will stop the text generation in its track, and it'll also remove this architect from the global cache. So after importing the new architect and updating any scripts that use it to use the correct variables, it should now work to correct our line snapping issue. We can also set the additive capability by giving the architect a pretext field. Then we have our characters per frame field and the speed field. Both of these work hand in hand to deliver faster or slower text revealing. 